Hey, what's up guys? Mint City here back again with another video. And today we are looking at Dead Shell. Now, what is Dead Shell? Dead Shell is a roguelike game with um, very simple um, elements to it. It's about as simple of a roguelike game as you can get. And the aesthetics and the style of the game is very, uh, very much like Doom. Now, if you guys know what Doom is, it's just a very violent um, space shooter. Um, but this doesn't have any of the shooter elements, of course, but it's just a very violent, very serious, very gory kind of action packed game. Now, for those of you who may not uh, may be new to the roguelike genre, um, this is a perfect entry to the genre, in my opinion. This brings all of the elements of roguelike to its bare minimum roots. It's it's very, it's very, um, it's just distilled into a very simple package for anyone to understand. Now, this is a free to play game, um, but th there are only ads for rewards. So you will never get a pop up ad in this game and you can play it as much as you want. And the point of this game is you try to make it as far in multiple levels of dungeons as you can until you die. Now, every time you die, you do progress and you get like new equipment, new, uh, more currency that will net you more items and it'll make you more and more powerful. And you just keep on going through that process of looting up and getting more powerful and then keep it on going into that dungeon, going as far as you can, dying, and then repeating the process over. And that's kind of what roguelike games are like. And with this one, it just, like I said, it's very, very simple and very, very easy. Um, you just, uh, you get to choose what kind of attack. So you may have a melee attack and a pistol and you can tap the pistol to shoot a an enemy in a room and then you just keep on tapping the pistol or uh, your melee attack, which doesn't use ammunition, and you'll eventually kill the monster, and then you can loot the monster, and then you tap on the next room. And it just it's kind of that same, um, same thing, except there's multiple pathways and stuff, so you kind of have to strategically choose where you can uh, you want to move your character and what pathways might be the most smart for you like you'll find yourself in many many instances where there's some loot or a crate or something down a certain pathway but there's a couple more enemies and then there's an exit way um, more accessible to you so then you have to decide well maybe I'm a little bit low on health but if I persevere through all those enemies I have a reward waiting for me or maybe I should just try to go farther into the dungeon and maybe I'll have better luck maybe get some more health maybe um, have something even better in the long run so you find yourself with a lot of those little choices throughout this game it's very pick up and play um, you can kind of binge it as well um, but yeah like the monetization model is very flat fair non intrusive uh, non obtrusive um, you never feel like it's right up in your face uh, you can take this game at your own pace and just enjoy it for what it is. Now, the, there is a spaceship uh, between runs that you can upgrade, and then you can send your spaceship out, and it'll bring you loot. And that could be, like, ammunition or, like, certain supplies that you need. There are daily uh, login bo bonuses and stuff like that. That ship that I mentioned that you can send out on search parties, obviously, it takes a real amount of time, so like it'll be like three hours and then when i log in the game next after three hours i can retrieve whatever it found for me and stuff like that there's multiple characters that will alter your play style as well that you can unlock through playing um and that's about it i just think it's a very solid little roguelite especially for people who are really wanting to get into the genre but they're new to it this is a very simple one um for those of you who are really thick into the genre and you're very familiar with it you, you might still find yourself really enjoying this because you don't really have to invest too much time into it. You can just pick up and play and put it away and still make progress. And it's just very satisfying. It's a very simple game, very relaxing, despite its uh, very serious nature or gory nature. Um, I love the sound effects. I love the music. I love the pixel art. The pixel art uh, intro is actual, uh, actually like so good. I'm very impressed with it. It really gives you a nostalgic vibe to it um, of those games from 
the olden days, such as the pixelated Doom and stuff like that. It's just really well made. I was really impressed that I found this. I don't know how old it is, but I was enjoying it. So I wanted to show you guys this, but please leave a like and pop a sub if you're new or if you enjoyed this video at all. I only make mobile gaming content on my YouTube channel. Now I have been posting a little bit less than usual and that's because I've started streaming again on Twitch. Now we have a nice little community on Twitch and Discord. All of the links can be found um, in the description below. Feel free to drop by and join. Right now I'm trying to get mobile streams back up and running, but I don't know how that will happen. I will um, continue to try to see if I can make that happen. I don't have a streaming PC or anything, but I do stream PS4 and I have a green screen, a face cam, all of that jazz. I just uh, got a new microphone for it. so. It should sound nice and crisp, trying to improve the quality slowly but surely. So if you guys enjoy PS4 games or if you play PS4 games on the side, um, feel free to check that out, and I will have mobile streams soon, and that's when I'll start plugging it more on my YouTube. But I appreciate you guys staying to the end of the video to listen to this random uh, rant, and I appreciate your guys' support. But thank you for watching, and take it easy.